Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. Today we're gonna to do some work back here at the retreat. So Kelly and our little white fuzzy kid uh, came with us. And uh, it's a real hoot riding back here with him, isn't he? <laughs> he makes everything so much easier. Oops. Yes. Get a dog, they said. It'll be so comforting. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Oh. Jumped out and almost stepped on a garter snake. Well, we haven't done uh, much of an update on the retreat lately, and it, it's one of those things. I learned a hard lesson. If you guys have been with the channel long enough, you know I made, uh, Kelly and I made a channel about our goals for 2022. And afterwards, realizing you know, what I encountered through the spring with the anxiety issues and you know, those mental health things that I've been working through, I just realized it's, you know, some, some scripture came to mind about, uh, you know, the, uh, the plans we, where guys make plans and they don't include the Lord's will in that. They say, we'll go to such and such a town and James and, and build this and do that and conduct business. And, and uh, we don't say the Lord wills it. So um, not saying that the Lord was trying to teach me a lesson, but that's something that stuck in my head is uh, never, ever do a goal video. <laughs> right. Going... Not that we haven't been seeking the path, but... Just don't put it on video as, as, <laughs> exactly. as your goals for 2022. <laughs> exactly, then... exactly. So we are we are now, uh, um, those of you that asked, those of you guys have been praying, I really appreciate it. Um, stabilized. Um, I, I, I don't curl up in a ball and cry like a little girl as much as I used to now. Um, in fact, I haven't done that in a while. So, um, so things are good there, but obviously it delayed a lot of our projects. Lost about two months there uh, with... Um, moderate functionality but uh, we're ready to get back at it so today is just an absolutely beautiful evening for mid-june it is very very cool and uh, so kelly and i decided we're going to come back and we're going to start working on our stump pile here so we've got a big pile of stumps that we acquired when we did all of our earthworks here so the the main clearing site our cabin site uh, even some of our little road cuts here we collected all of our stumps and uh, since it's not early spring and there's no burning bands, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to get stuff started. It would be almost impossible to set these woods on fire right now as wet as everything is and as green as everything is. So uh, we're gonna work on that and, and we can just share some other details as we go along. So I've got this, I think I'm gonna take care of this first. I've got a standing dead it's a little ash tree here that obviously didn't make the uh, emerald ash bore like any of them do. So I'm going to put him on the ground and I think I can just drop him right across our pile and uh, that'll not only get that out of the way so that it doesn't become a widow maker that causes issues but gives me some dry wood that we can burn up. So let's get that on the ground first. <laughs> Can't believe you're burning up all these good sticks. Fire again. Ah! You're 
Hey. The bacon. That's a cherry, I believe. Very cherry. Perfect. Should we dance around it naked like the heathens do now? That's probably not a good idea. Okay. Wait till the battery runs dead on the camera. <laughs> It doesn't get as close as you think it does. <laughs> All right, so it's the next morning, and actually, I, that fire burned better than I thought it would last night. Those stumps have always been piled up since the fall, but we've had so much rain here recently, I thought they would be a little too juicy to burn up. But uh, they did pretty well. So I'm going to grab the tractor and go ahead and take it back there now that the ground's dried out. I didn't want to have the tractor out there last night. So I'm just afraid of making too many big ruts, but I'm going to take my chances, go back there and use the tractor bucket to push those together because we should still have a pretty good coal bed and push those together and get the rest of those stumps burned up. Maybe we'll get that burned up completely this weekend. So come along. If you guys follow us on our social, other social media, our Instagram and Facebook, then you would have seen the uh, last of my turn signals uh, demise. The... Uh, <laughs> I had this tractor, what, 18 years now, and, uh, and my one turn signal, I broke this one a long time ago, but my one turn signal finally bit the dust. Widowmaker was mowing, you can see I've got the mower still, I was mowing in a, uh, I bumped a, a dead standing tree with the, the, the bush hog, and it caused the top to break out, and man, that thing just barely missed me. It came right across, right across here, and of course just shattered my turn signal. There's bits of it there's the base of the bulb that shattered and went everywhere and somebody asked uh, i shared that on social media and somebody asked uh were you wearing a helmet at the time and while a helmet could have possibly saved me from some, some head injury if it had hit my head i just can't bring myself to wearing a helmet when i operate my tractor <laughs> there's just a certain level of pride we have to maintain <laughs> up nice. Think there's a coal bed still there, looks like it. Definitely right here. All right, so I'm going to get here with a tractor bucket and try to get this stump that's right on the edge of the creek bank. I'm going to try to get him pulled back. Uh, we'll push everybody together and see what we can get.
All right, I think we've got a pretty good coal bed established there. I've been here about an hour and just push that together again. It burned a little hole out, so push it all together. And I think she's gonna burn pretty solid the rest of the day. I'm going to move on to other projects and come back and check on this from time to time and probably uh, stoke it back up. You may be wondering, hey, uh, is it wise to leave a fire unattended? Well, it's always a risk when you leave a fire unattended, but take it for somebody who's been here 22 years and has set the wood on fire three times. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it takes to set the woods on fire <laughs> and the conditions are not right today. Uh, there's zero wind, there's not any wind forecast. Everything is so wet and so green. I've got bare earth around most of my spot here. Where I don't have bare earth is super green and lush and then of course a stream with water in it on the other side. So I would bet everything I own that even if we had a huge wind kick up this would not catch on. So I'm gonna let that burn and we'll check back here in a bit. All right, so it's uh, mid afternoon and we've got a, uh, a little thunderstorm that's going to pop up here, I believe, check the radar. So I wanted to come up and give it a stoke, try to get it reestablished again before the rain dampens the coals. We'll see how it's done. a pretty good hole out of it again. All right, let's do some stacking. All right, so it's starting to come down decently amount. Pull my seat up. I'm gonna take the side by side, get to the house, cause I've got a lot of tools in the back of the side by side and let this blow over. It's supposed to be, sm supposed to be a small storm. All right, so yesterday evening's passing shower turned into pretty much an all evening, all night, and into this morning, light rain. Now it's crazy, we only got about an eighth of an inch but it just drizzled all night long. So, obviously I didn't go back and check on the fire. I'm down here at the workshop right now. I grabbed some, uh, some cardboard and some scrap from the workshop. A lot of cutoffs from my miter saw and table saw, so see if we can get that going again and see what the fire looks like. I gotta stop and uh, feed the boars as well. So get that taken care of, and then we'll see what, what happened to our fire. Morning boys. We'll start with breakfast, show. There's still, qu still quite a bit of heat coming out of it there, so I think we can find us some coals here somewhere. Or dirt.
<laughs> still got some pretty big stumps left to, to burn up. I'm hoping I can get them burned up today because I won't be able to tend it much longer. This big walnut stump here. Uh, we removed this, as I mentioned, when we did our earthworks. And that walnut stump was so big, the excavator I had could barely move it. In fact, I think I had to push it over here. I couldn't pick it up. We got a little double trunk poplar here that's still got to burn. But try to knock as much dirt out as possible when I was moving them. But of course, when they're wet, they just hold all that dirt. So as the fire dries it out, some of these big clumps of dirt fall down and of course, smother your ashes. But, uh, I keep adding additional uh, stuff, deadfall, that I find around here to, to try to keep adding fuel to it. So we'll see how it goes today. And actually, uh, the plan is, this evening, Kelly and I, um, we are we are flying solo for a couple weeks because the boys are um, away with some family in Florida. So it's just she and I, so I think we're going to come up here and try to do some campfire cooking this evening if the weather holds. So if that's the case, we will include that in this video as well. All right, so mid-afternoon, early afternoon actually, and she's burning down pretty good, but it's at the point now where if I don't keep adding fuel to it, additional fuel, then it's just not going to burn up those big chunky stumps well enough. There's still a lot of dirt, all that issue that uh, it's providing insulation. So I uh, just went over where there's a deadfall, cut up a bunch of it, put it in the tractor here, and uh, can throw it on there as we need to. So this has to be tended if I want to get all these burned up this weekend. It has to be tended regularly. So we're just going to embrace that and Kelly and I are going to table some of our other projects down at the house. We should be doing some garden stuff but we're going to put that on pause this afternoon. And Kelly's been really getting into cast iron cooking here recently. We've cooked on cast iron in the house constantly you know, for, for years but uh, really wants to do some more outside cast iron cooking. So obviously we can't cook over that. That's too big a fire. So we're going to come down here to our campfire spot, the retreat. I'm going to get a little fire going, make a little, little makeshift table for her so she can try out. We, we got a brand new Dutch oven, got a season, got it all ready to go. And uh, so we're going to give that a whirl. And we're, I think we're going to do a pork roast. So we're going to see how that goes. So we'll include this in this video so you guys can see what our first attempt at doing a pork roast, kind of a potato stew, pork stew type thing on a campfire on our new Dutch oven back here on the retreat. It'll be the first meal on the retreat. So stick around. <laughs> so it's funny, these walnut cutoffs have been laying here since uh, um, September, I believe, of last year. And uh, this, this shows you just how much humidity and moisture we have in West Virginia. Look at these green sprouts. <laughs> So those cutoffs just lay in there, sprouted this spring, and are actually still gray, green. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of moisture hanging out in West Virginia. But I'm going to cut these up and use them for our legs for our makeshift table. Tell me that poplar's not hard once it dries out. Don't set your legs on fire. I know, I won't, but you got this. Okay, how should I be? Not that low. Mm -hmm. 
onions underneath has a little stand on the for the roast. Okay, so you're taking the onions back out after you come out? Um, I, I will to sear the meat probably. Actually, no, it's not. It's not Napoleon. I thought it was there for a second, but no. That's homemade chicken broth right there. But you can sort of tell by you have a, something to mm -hmm. stab it with. <laughs> All right, so we're finally ready to eat. It's only been two days later, and the roast is ready. <laughs> Famished. <laughs> uh, I've eaten one of my shoes already to hold me off. There's pepper if you want to like, sprinkle some in your hand because I don't have a sprinkler. You know what I mean? Kind of yakking? No. Hey, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Easy. Mom, you ain't coming out. Why are you working? Probably a deer. <laughs> huh? Deer probably walking through the edge of the woods. Do you? We saw a couple up here. Who's following us? What's that? No, baby. Just one potato. Okay. You want how many carrots? Yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Put this that right so there. Good. Okay, Timber. Easy. 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 What's he doing? He wants to be. I told him he was a good boy, so he's trying to come see me. Come on. Okay. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes. He's so brave. You're just a brave dog, aren't you? You're so brave. <laughs> All right, so how long we do? Three hours? About three hours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so three hours in the Dutch oven over the fire with the tripod, working really well. Actually cooking that with poplar wood. We had a standing dead that was really, really dry, so it gave us a lot of heat. I wasn't worried about the flavor since we kept the lid on. <clears throat> but Kelly's folks came to join us, and uh, they heard there was going to be some home-cooked pork, so they joined us. And we're, we told them we were playing Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. So they came to join. Delicious. So we're eating a little later than we normally would, but there's just something about campfire cooking yeah. that makes food taste so much better. So it is really good. I know this isn't a cooking channel, but I'm going to give you a close-up. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. We're going to eat, and before we wrap up, I'll show you the progress on our stump pile. All right, well, that was an incredible meal. I wasn't going to video me eating, uh, especially since I had three helpings of that. I walked up here, but I think I'm going to have to limp back home. That was fantastic. But I wanted to give you an update on keeping our stump fire going. Again, that's the reason why we decided to cook out, so I can keep this going. And I'm down to my three biggest stumps. And this one's still got some, still got quite a ways to go. This is the walnut stump. He's almost completely gone. And then this is the double trunk poplar. And everything else is burned up. So um, we're not supposed, excuse me, <laughs> we're not supposed to get rain for another two days. 
So I may come up after church and stoke this, but uh, we'll wrap up here. It's, I don't know that a stump burning video is very exciting. So if you've made it this far, thank y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody watching. Y'all have a great week. Take care.